following program is intended for mature audiences. A Democratic Republic of Sports. The Sportsocracy with ESPN Asheville hosts Tank Spencer and Jeremy Green. And welcome back into the Wicked Weed Studio. Wicked Weed Brewing. Com. Check them out today. We can weed brewing, drink different. I'm Tank Spencer. He's Jeremy Green. Welcome into the Sportsocracy. Let's talk about the first two weeks of the season for the Cleveland Browns. They are one and one. They lose to the Chiefs. We're much closer than uh, and then uh, you know the detractors expected them to be. But also, I think the Houston Texans were a lot closer to the Cleveland Browns than we thought they would be as well. So to me, it's been kind of back and forth. Hey, pretty much like Baker Mayfield's entire career. If you keep starting Baker Mayfield in January, you will be at home with Baker Mayfield. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, in the Texans game, Jarvis Landry got hurt. He's now wound up on IR. But the good news, maybe, is that Odell Beckham Jr. is back with the team. He's day-to-day. -day. He is practicing. So there's hope that he will play this week as you take on the Chicago Bears. I don't look for it, just so you know. And I'll be honest with you, I think this is the best version of Baker we've ever seen because he doesn't have anybody to force the ball to. Mm -hmm. I think Baker Mayfield might be. If I'm wrong on Baker, it's for one reason. If you can absolutely custom fit an offense to him where he has no deep threats, he cannot force the ball deep, he can't do any of that shit, that might be the best version of it. Running a three tight end offense like they're basically running right now with Njoku, Austin Hooper, and, and uh, uh, Harrison Bryant. Mm -hmm. Run the hell out of the ball and just don't let him beat you. Mm -hmm. We saw Anthony Schwartz put up some numbers, get some catches this past week as well. He's a guy I really liked coming out of Auburn this past year. Baker Mayfield is, I mean, through the first two games of the season, he's got the best stats of his career, 81.6% completion. Uh, he's he's got a 101.9 quarter or uh, yeah passer rating, so it's better than it's ever been. Problem is, can it continue? Can Baker keep having an abnormally accurate, consistent year? And we've seen where Baker. I mean, in the first game of the season, came down to it. You needed a play at the end of the game. Baker threw the ball away. He's going to continue to be the Achilles heel of this team in big games, I think. I've always felt the same way about Kirk Cousins, and Kirk Cousins has had a fine career in the NFL. You want me to tell you the most damning stat on Baker Mayfield you'll ever hear in your life? Yes. Baker Mayfield has played in 48 games in his NFL career. Okay. It's 25 and 23. In the 25 wins, he is 67% completion guy. Eight yard average per target 242 yards a game four to one touchdown to interception ratio been sacked 36 times in 25 games interception ratio is one and a half okay now let's talk about the 23 losses 58.6 percent completion guy not good six and a half yards at the target it's kind of a myth that he's a check down guy because he's not mm -hmm. he's a force it into people guy because I'm sure somebody will go, oh, he hit a big one to Anthony Schwartz. I get that. He didn't have to. There was no, oh, I have to get Odo Beckham touches. Oh, I have to get Jarvis Landry touches. Oh, I have to get Austin Hooper the ball. None of that. Uh, one to one touchdown to interception ratio. He's actually slightly more interceptions than touchdowns. Mm -hmm. And he's been sacked 59 times. You have to ask him to do minimalistic things. Mm -hmm. The more he does, the worse off you are. The problem with that is, has been, and will be, let's just look at your schedule, shall we? This week against the Bears, doesn't matter. He doesn't have to do shit. He could throw it 14 times, you still win this game, because Nick Chubb and Kareem Hunt will lead you. Mm -hmm. Against the Vikings, as long as the game script doesn't get wrong for you, you'll be fine. Problem is, then you play at the Chargers and the Cardinals and the Steelers who can score points and the Bengals who can score points. The Patriots who are never going to turn the ball over and they're not going to let you do what it is you want to do. The Ravens, twice. The Raiders, the Packers, the Steelers. There are a lot of games there where you could see bad Baker come out. Who and did they screw to get the Ravens back to back with a bye week in the middle? Mm, well, you know. 
Probably for that progressive commercial from uh, Baker. Like, like and Roger Goodell was like, ha, ha, fuck that guy. <laughs> <laughs> that just doesn't seem fair to me. Anyway, it's, it's, it's tough. It's beside the point. The problem is I don't think you're ever going to be that team that can just freight train bad teams. I don't. I, I've never seen that in you. A and you're beholden to an average quarterback. Here's the thing about average quarterbacks. They tend to beat the teams they're supposed to mm -hmm. and lose to the teams they're supposed to. Mm -hmm. It's that in-between period. And guess how many of those games you have this year? How many? A lot. The Vikings are one of those in-between teams. The Chargers are. The Cardinals are. The Cardinals are even probably a little high. Mm -hmm. Steelers twice. There's just a lot of coin toss games. If you see good Baker in more of those teams than you see bad Baker, you're probably fine. And then you get to the playoffs. And guess what wins in, in the playoffs? Good coaches and good quarterbacks. You have one of those two things. Mm -hmm. I'll let you assume which one's which. You know, I was looking back. Uh, yeah, it looks like they their their largest margin of victory in the last two years has been 14. No, they had a big one. Did they have a they, big they one? They did have a big one. I can't remember who it was against. They did have a big one because I remember I caught a ton of shit. We told you it was against somebody bad, dude. We told you Baker could, could put teams away. Uh-huh. He doesn't tend to. No. In large part, he does not tend to. The yeah. game I'm remembering may have, it it may have wound up closer. It was 2019, maybe. They had a 23-3 game against your Jets mm -hmm. in 2019. Miami. That's the one it was. It's 41-24. 41-24. Yeah, that was two years ago. Yeah. And it was, uh, it, it was, pretty, it was pretty convincing. Mm -hmm. That was a bad Miami team, but still. You let teams hang around, mm -hmm. and bad things can transpire. Yep. That's my biggest fear with Baker. It has been forever. It's not a. It's not an. I hate this team. It's. I look at a lot of teams in the NFL and go, their quarterbacks better. Mm -hmm. You're supremely limited at the quarterback position, which is the most important position on the field in all of sports. Chica or Cleveland, excuse me, has everything going for it right now. I think the defense is a positive. You run the ball well. Your weapons are, it's hard to love your weapons with no Odell and no Jarvis Landry, but you're still good at tight end. Mm -hmm. The line is good. And I still look at you as a 10 and 17. Vegas has Cleveland right now in their power rankings. They have Cleveland at eight. I don't agree with you. Seattle's behind them. Arizona's behind them. The Raiders are behind them. Carolina's behind them. Tennessee's behind them. I, the Dallas Cowboys are behind them. I don't agree on not one of those teams. Mm -hmm. And you know why? Because there's a big discrepancy in how I feel about Baker and how Vegas does. Mm -hmm. Vegas sees him as a six-point positive. Just for posterity's sake, that puts him in a class with Josh Allen and Lamar Jackson. Are you out of your fucking mind? <laughs> That's the only time those three names should be said in the same That's sentence. That's proof. That's proof that he should get mega million dollars. And he will. Mm -hmm. He will, and as soon as you pay him, you'll see what I'm talking about. Yep. Don't hate the team. I like the team, and I think you're going to put up a lot of wins. Mm -hmm. I just think you're going to beat the teams you're supposed to. You're going to lose to the teams you're supposed to. And then you're going to get to the playoffs, and you're going to see Lamar Jackson and Josh Allen and Pat Mahomes and Derek Carr and Justin Herbert, and you'll realize... Baker Mayfield does not belong in the same category as them. Mm -hmm. I don't care that he's 81% completion guy against the Texans. Right. I don't care. Right. Teams uh, will always stay in games with you, and good teams will take advantage of that and beat you. Cleveland has done the right thing, I think, personnel-wise, front office-wise, put a lot of talent around Baker Mayfield, try to, try to cover up his, uh, his warts. warts. This is your one shot because yeah. his, co his contract balloons after this year. Yep. And then the extension will balloon even more. <laughs> uh, but best of luck this week. You should get a win. Should get oh, an this easy week will win. be a win. I guess the Chicago Bears. Because Justin Fields is going to be running for his fucking life. You're in the sportsocracy. I'm Tank Spencer. He's Jeremy Green. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Follow along with our team-by-team -team content all season long. And, of course, join us live every weekday morning at 10 a.m. We will see you next time.